If you're ever working with pop-up graphics or text in Adobe After Effects, you can add some more life to them by using this expression. If you open up the drop-down menu for your image or text layer and open up the position section under the transform menu by holding the option key and clicking on the stopwatch icon for keyframes, you'll see this expression box pop up. Now you can type whatever you want here, but under this drop down menu with this little arrow, you have a bunch of preset expressions starting points. So under the property section, you can find one called wiggle. So if you try to press play now, nothing will happen because you haven't filled in the frequency. So let's say we do a frequency of one and an amplitude of 10. That'll make it wiggle every one second, uh, 10 pixels either in the X or Y direction. So that's a gentle floating starting point. You can also try experimenting with more. So let's say a one and a hundred would look more like this, a lot larger wiggle room. And even let's say 10 and a hundred would look a lot faster and chaotic, a lot more wiggle room. So for a gentle float that just adds some visual interest, something like one and 10 is a good starting point. And what I've done here to add just even a little bit more of a touch is right clicking on this image, going to layer styles, and I've just added a drop shadow effect. So under the layer styles section, you can see the drop shadow added and you can change the color, the opacity, the angle, and the distance. So you can create a little drop shadow, maybe increase the size a bit to get a, even a little bit more pop out or life. My name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, I have tons more about After Effects, other expressions that you can find in the playlist on my channel, and you can subscribe to stay tuned for all of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.